Instagram is removing likes. We're all gonna die. Hey you, my name is Elian and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. According to dozens of blogs and news portals, Instagram is planning to remove the publicly visible number of likes underneath each photo that we scroll by. Oh my god! This feature is being tested in Canada, I do believe, and will be rolled out to a wider audience, probably gradually. Your first reaction might be, oh no, people won't see how popular I am. Well, it seems like that's the point, so let's go and see what all these blogs have to say about it. The Verge quotes Instagram at the Facebook F8 conference. We want followers to focus on the photos and videos videos, not the number of likes. That actually makes sense. How many times have you scrolled through Instagram splashing out likes on the popular photos just because? Guilty. There is a psychology side as well and Forbes mentions a recent report on how unhealthy obsession with likes and comparing to other users negatively affects our mental health. Contributing to anxiety, depression, loneliness and lack of sleep. Yes. What my concern is as a growing influencer is how will brands and companies find and value my influencership without knowing my engagement ratio. Sure, they can still see the amount of followers, but that's pretty much a dead metric these days when almost everything is about engagement. Without public like information, they have to literally contact dozens if not hundreds of influencers about their engagement and reach before deciding whom to collaborate with. The Intelligencer echoed my concern in their post titled, Is Instagram's Future Snapchat's Past? With this sentence. If you are a rising Snapchat star looking to do sponsored content or branded deals, you had to take it upon yourself to prove to these companies that you were worth the investment. It wasn't immediately apparent who was popular and highly sought after, unlike on Instagram. And finalizes with, in making Instagram like free, the platform stands to gain some of the weird and fun factors that Snapchat had lost. It just has to make sure that it doesn't lose businesses too. Amen to that. The Washington Post mentioned another aspect. Hiding the counts could potentially introduce new problems for users, such as diminishing the feeling of camaraderie from liking a popular post tied to a social cause or a massive in-joke. Not that I've had much experience with something like that, but it's true. Turns out that Instagram, or Snapchat for that matter, aren't the only social networks focusing on a healthier social media habit. Stray.com mentions that Instagram is not the only social media platform looking to place a greater focus on content rather than engagement. Earlier this year, Twitter released a prototype app that minimizes the number of likes and retweets in its interface. In order to see how many likes or retweets a post received in reply to a conversation, a person needs to click into each post individually. Influencer rates for sponsored content has typically increased with follower or like counts. But I'm hopeful that this shift will encourage a greater focus on quality and with that, scalable rates based on multiple engagement metrics," said a very seemingly wise social media director by the name of Kristen Lee. Overall, this is obviously a very controversial issue and has very many aspects to consider. But if Instagram manages to bring this about for all its positive changes and not ruin some of the other important aspects by doing so, it might just be a win-win. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for tuning in and I'm gonna see you guys next week. Whew. I'm sleepy, man.